May God's passion and cross be brought to the glory of His resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, may haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five joyful mysteries. The first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, for the grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to their patronage. O Holy Mother of God, dispass not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that, meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. of the Father's glory springing from eternal light source of light by light and gender day and lightning every day in your everlasting radiance shine upon us Christ's true Son, bringing life to mind and body through the Holy Spirit's power. Father of unfading glory, rich in grace and strong to save, hear our 
Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars. Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of, your, of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it, Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord, Sing to the Lord, all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord your families and of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, 
He comes to rule the earth. With justice, He will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with His truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Always speak and act as men destined for judgment under the law of freedom. Merciless is the judgment on the man who has not shown mercy, but mercy triumphs over judgment. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. His marvelous works are beyond compare. Blessed from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord our God, blessed from age to age. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord our God. Man was created to glorify God through his deeds. Let us earnestly pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. We bless you, Creator of all things. For you have given us the goods of the earth and brought us to this day, we pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. Look with favor on us as we begin our daily work. Let us be fellow workers with you, we pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. Make our work today benefit our brothers and sisters that with them and for them we may build an earthly city pleasing to you, we pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. Grant joy and peace to us and to all we meet this day, we pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. Let us now pray as the Lord told us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, King of heaven and earth, direct our minds and bodies throughout this day, and make us holy. Keep us faithful to your law in thought, word, and deed. Be our helper now and always. Free us from sin and bring us to salvation in that kingdom where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
we pray for the following intentions. For the healing and the recovery of Claire Corpus, Estelita C. Longtay, Eros Atalia, Kenneth Blaine Villoria, Arlene Cotara, Yuri Maverick, Jervin, Ernan, Jocelyn Innocencio, Armando Innocencio, Rolly Cuevas, Dr. Rosa Rizal Sanchez, Mapoy Family, Deliana Pastores, Linda Pastores, Saint Dior de la Cruz, Ana Maria Aquino, Jan Marie Balois, Jaden Mateo Balois, Cynthia de Jesus, all those who are sick and all those afflicted with COVID-19. For the special and other intentions of UST Angelicum College, Maria Irene Bonsa and Ivy Claire Bonsa, Charlie, Charles, Christopher and Carl, Jose Senior, Macaria Baldonado, Deo, Maricar and Adrig Chan, Pedro Jr., Rosemary and Chimi Hernandez, Clint, Lilia Bella and Bianca Baldonado, Emilio, Sian and Claria, Angelizel, Stephanie, Anthony and Reggie, Gregoria G. Pua, Kyle Moses P. Annunciacion. For the thanksgiving of Brother John Reed Catorza Opi, Carmela Francesca B. Reyes, Pal Maniplas Ventures Incorporated, Jocelyn Ventosilia, Monteverde Sewing Machine Incorporated, and Mary Jane Tolentino. For the eternal repose of the souls of AFC Enrollees, Richard So and Rafael Aaron So, Juanquina Kalanog, Cheng Lim Chong, Maria Bon Bonsa, Jose Bon Bonsa, Marateniano Bon Bonsa, Felicidad Bon Bonsa, Josefina Villarreal Bonsa, Josue Bon Bonsa, Ninita Ocampo, Carlos Valentin, Eugenia C. Palma, Matilde Canari Dato and Fermina Legaspe Daroy, Sian Silver, Makalin Om, Primitivo Tamayo, Divina Bacayo Elis, Benigno Castillo, Ricardo Miranda Olidan, Francisco G. Dato Jr., Stephen E. Pelinio, Conrado Castile Sr., Atanalia M. Castile, Leo Castile, Manuel Almario, Dr. Lorenzo C. Reyes, Emma Felixberto Sasasti, Fidel Balanoyus, Ariel Vliador, Lolita Salcedo Mara, Dionisio D. Tocli, Filimon and Frederick C., Carlos C., Chaitai, Marianita Lim, Lim Kim King, Laura De La Rosa, Rogelio Oji Valdescu III, Lian Sherry May L. Chavez, Conchita A. Omali, Bilanyo A. Omali, Josephine Anonas, Edgardo Innocencio, Hernani Betito, Armando Pastores, Alfredo Pastores, Renato Pastores, Victor Bob Pastores, Alfredo Pastores Jr., Irene Manlapas, Rafael Lerma, Romeo del Rosario, Teresita del Rosario, Lourdes Salazar Atuason, Marevic Arbis, Conrado E. Cobarrublas, Alfred Paz G. Corobias, Rosario E. Cobaryubas, Antonio Arco, Azuzena M. Co, Angelita K. Tongol, Lourdes K. Cruz, Caroline K. Bacani, Reynaldo J. Cuaderno, Felipe V. Cuaderno, Purita D. Cuaderno, Teresita G. Cruz, Antonio E. Cobaryubias, Romeo Alejo Jr. and Sr., Guadalupe Alejo, Ramon Alejo, Luz Alejo, Michael Alcones, Romel Forrendo, Kathleen Hadlock, 
Eloy Hadlok, Eduarna Peña, Ani Agpuon, Bernabe Agpuon, Luningning Paderon, Conrado Paderon, Tetet Lahom, Selvino Donato, Lina De Sales, Rafael Abawan, Tony Horeno, Rosemary Olep, Lourdes A. Rebalde, Vicente S. Rebalde, Leonida Figueroa, Rosa Maduyag, Celedonio Maduyag, Cresanta Cuda, Vicente Cuda, Alejandro Rebosquillo, Kent John, Juanita Fuentes, Teodora Mayo, Merli Paduela, Aaron Luby Clasera, Eustaqua Pacobilo, Cherry Pai Bona, Rena Rose Cabuco, Benvenido Maralit, Barbara Tanduyan, Abundia Ortega Campanera, Paterno Campanera, Alfonso Campanera, Arquipo Ortega, Carlito Tejones, Kathy Manayan, Yofesina Porquillo Flores, Jude Maria Abarquez, All Souls of the Faithful Departed, and All Souls in Purgatory. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us first recall our sins. Let us be sorry for them, and let us ask God for forgiveness. Let us now humbly acknowledge our sinfulness before God and before one another. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, you ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord of mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, so that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past, but now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory, it is He whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. For this I labor and struggle in accord with the exercise of His power working within me. For I want you to know how great a struggle I am having for you and for those in Laodicea, and all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged as they are brought together in love, to have all the richness of assured understanding for the knowledge of the mystery of God, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God is my safety and my glory. In God is my safety and my glory. Only in God be at rest my soul, for from Him comes my hope. He only is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. In God is my safety and my glory. Trust in Him at all times, O my people. Pour out your hearts before Him. God is our refuge. In God is my safety and my glory. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions, and he said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? rather than do evil, to save life, rather than to destroy. Then looking around at them, 
he then said to the man, stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> a few days ago, I was invited to give a Zoom talk to a group of students and teachers of Letran College, Manila. The topic that was given to me was the legacy of St. Dominic de Guzman. During the open forum, one of the students asked me, St. Dominic founded the Dominican Order for the specific task of preaching. How do you preach today in the midst of the cancel culture or cringe culture prevalent in the social media? The question made me realize that I have to overhaul my vocabulary. I honestly admitted to that student that I am quite ignorant of the phrase cancel culture or cringe culture. So he explained it to me and afterwards I gave my response. So who of you know the cancel culture? Itas nga ang kamay. Marami rin pala. Pero karamihan ito. Cringe culture. Oh, wala. Okay. Okay, so let me explain this to you. When something is cancelled, it is no longer wanted, like a TV program or a subscription. In social media, netizens cancel a person who is usually a celebrity, an influencer, or a role model. They withdraw their support for that celebrity because of a tweet that he posted or a behavior that, he, that offended them. They would f unfollow or delete that person. Many celebrities who were canceled lose their reputation or their entire livelihood. Their lives are torn apart, their homes targeted, and insults flood their inboxes. Cancel culture is actually a form of group shaming. One who is canceled is expelled from the group to which he belongs and treated like an outcast. Worse, he can even be bashed or attacked by people who sympathize with those who canceled him. You know, cancel culture is one of the health risks of many young people today. Because when they feel outcast or ostracized, they develop low self-esteem, isolation, and depression. Cancel culture is somewhat similar to cringe culture. You cancel a person who is cringy, someone who says or does things that make you cringe or feel awkward and uncomfortable. I have a friend who told me that when he started posting in the social media daily messages about Jesus or gospel passages, many of his friends stopped replying because they consider him cringy. Lagi nilang sinasabi, nakakakilabot naman ang mga posts mo. Kakadiri ang mga recollections mo. 
parang pinapagilti mo kami lagi. They eventually canceled him. Actually, cancel culture or cringe culture is not a new phenomenon. Jesus himself experienced this when he preached about God's words, when he performed miracles, when he forgave sins, and asked people to change their ways. In our gospel reading today, after he healed the man with the paraly paralyzed hands, the Pharisees and the scribes wanted to cancel him, finish him, ostracize him, even kill him, because Jesus made them cringe at his lack of respect for the Sabbath. But Jesus knew that the cancel culture prevalent among the Pharisees was focused not on helping others or correcting mistakes, it was focused on control. The people doing the canceling are usually bullies hiding under the, the cloak of righteousness. The response of Jesus to the scribes and Pharisees can help us to know how to react to those people who are promoters of the cancel or cringe culture. For those who enjoy canceling people who do not conform to their subjective norms of behavior, Jesus by his example, suggests that they develop compassion and understanding. Compassion cancels, or rather counters, the cancel culture by recognizing that everyone has their own struggles and difficulties to overcome. Sometimes, when a person does something that hurts us, we have to think, Ah, may pinaghuhugutan ito. May pinanggagalingan yung sinabi niya. People who do something we don't like may have gone through experiences that we may not fully understand. And let us face it, we don't know the full story about a person. So instead of immediately canceling someone who said something, that offends us, we can ask ourselves, what triggers these negative reactions in me towards this person? Why am I inclined to ostracize him, not to talk to him anymore? Jesus taught us that by being compassionate and understanding, we avoid destructive attitudes and draw out the best in those who are around us. And for those of us who have experienced being canceled, Jesus showed us in this gospel reading that it is all right to feel angry. It is all right to feel our pain or disappointment, but without being overpowered by these feelings. Jesus reminds us that there will always be people who will not like us, who choose to discredit and disbelieve us, even if there is no logical reason to do so. I have a friend who was canceled by his group because he always sent messages about the evil of sexual sins and the need for repentance. They erased and deleted him in their Facebook and Instagram sites and branded him as too righteous, a prophet of doom, and a pessimist who do not like to enjoy his life. When I ask him what does he feel about being canceled by his social media friends, he smiled at me and said, well, they call me a pessimist and they the optimists, because they want to enjoy sexual pleasure without any limit. But then, I just console myself with the thought that optimists invented the airplane. 
but we pessimists invented the parachute. So when we are able to feel safe and secure in ourselves, we are able to better express compassion and understanding towards others. And this is the best way to counteract the, can the cancel culture or cringe culture prevalent within the social media. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us now offer our petitions to the Father. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and being compassionate and understanding towards our neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Dominican brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo in Quezon City and Our Lady of the Rosary in Manawak, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire us to be more sincere and our hands be more willing to serve others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Which earth is given and human hands are made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through these offerings we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Our prayer of thanksgiving adds nothing to your greatness, but makes us grow in holiness and profit us for salvation. And so together with the angels and the saints, we proclaim your glory as we sing. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and the resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray as Jesus prayed. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us their daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the fulfillment of our blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus in the Eucharist, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sa aming kaloob 
at pagsasanong walang hanggan. At pagsasanong walang hanggan. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, La Naval de Manila. Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican holy men and women of God. Pray for us. Let us pray. Lord, grant that your faithful people, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and the Holy Eucharist, may benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts so that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus and Mary. Thanks be to God.